um, since ASPs are having a speech next, please help them to speak well and be prepared and help us to focus well in their speech. And please help people who are struggling from COVID-19 now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. That should not stop you from leading by example. So let's read through this verse really quickly together. One, two, three. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believer as an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. So this is actually um, for Paul to Timothy. I mean, there are some debates on who was the original writer, but in the beginning of 1 Timothy, it's actually written that it was actually by Paul. Now, during this time, it was very important for those that are missionaries and that are setting up churches uh, to go and make sure that they are setting examples, not just through, not in the church, but outside of the church as well. So this is one of the things that was told to the people and also to Timothy to set an example for those around you and set an example as Christians to other Christians as well. I'd like to believe that most of us here, if not all of us, are Christians, right? We're not sure. Um, I would, I want to believe that I will go to heaven, and I do believe that I will go to heaven once I die. Why? Because God died for me, right? And I actually believe and I confess my sins and I ask for forgiveness and once I die I don't think I'll be able to come back and let you guys know guys I made it to heaven but that is what I believe and I hope you believe that too but before we get to that point of death why is it important for you to check your speech to check your conduct to check your love and faith and purity as you can see around you, we don't live in our own separate bubbles. We don't live independently, right? Look next to you. Look to your left, look to your right, look behind you, look in front of you. Say hi. Hi. You have friends, you have older students, younger students, people that you care about, people that you love, people that you are good friends with as well. Thank you, yeah, say hi. Now. Because we don't live independently, because we don't live in our own little bubbles, we live in community. And that means our actions influence those around us as well. And so it's important for us to review in what ways can we be setting an example. And this message is important for everyone, but I especially want our ASP candidates to listen in closely. Now, the way that we understand what speech is, is you're going to come up here and give a speech. But actually, speech is a lot more broad than that. It's talking about you talking, what comes out of your mouth. How are you sharing God's love? How are you showing your heart through your words? Okay. Secondly, in conduct. Who knows what conduct means? Behavior, action. What you do with your body, what you do with your hands, what you do with your movements, right? Also should be setting an example. In love. I don't think that needs a lot of explanation. How are you treating others? Is it through love? In faith. Are you showing your faith in God, in Christ? through your words, actions, and has it, does it reflect back on who you believe in? And finally, impurity. And by purity, we mean coming before Christ and becoming more sanctified, becoming more holy through all of these ways. ASB candidates, as you come up here, I really hope that you take this time, whether you are elected or not, that you still set yourself as an example for those that are younger. Even if you are not elected, that you still take the opportunity to stand up here, use this platform to share with your fellow student body members as leaders, whether it's now or in the future, but that you would continue to act in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity as leaders here. And those that are younger, that you would look up and follow their examples, but also hopefully in the future become leaders yourself.